Hello YouTube, I wanted to do a video about uh, my 3D printer. Um, I have a CTC model, it's a $600 printer, it's a ripoff of Rep Replicator 2. And I wanted to, to mention three things you can do to improve your 3D printer experience because this printer had some issues. First of all, I wanted to mention that it comes with this um, gu plastic guide. This is a, uh, it goes over your filament, over your extru extruder arm, and so I had to, I had to purchase different ones. The, these ones are um, made out of silicone, and this one was is made out of PVC. This this is the one that it comes with. So um, I, first thing you, you do is you, you I recommend you purchase uh, silicone ones, the, the, these clear ones. Um, once you get your, your printer, there is. So the reason I don't think these uh, ABS um, guides that uh, the printer comes with is any good is because um, the ABS has a lot of friction. So when the filament uh, slides through, sometimes you'll get nothing in your um, nothing ends up getting extruded. So the um, one problem that can be uh, fixed is by simply changing to the um, silicone guide. The next thing I did is I put um, a glass uh, cover on onto the um, build plate. So I, I just purchased a piece of glass from Lowe's and I cut it to size and I, ha uh, I'm, I have little clips to hold it in, in place. And the reason you want to have uh, this clip uh, off, off center, uh, not, not, not on the very edge, I shouldn't say off center, not the, on the very edge, is because um, the the arm is going to come over here, and it's um, and then it, it's part of the initialization process. So um, it's going to pull off this clip. So it's this, that's why I have it offset. So the other thing, the third thing that I changed is um, I designed my own ex extruder um, uh, thing. It's basically. It has a spring. It has a spring inside, but my design is is designed specially for the CTC printers because, as you can see, the CTC printer has this little plywood piece right here over the over the um, the arm. So that's why um, I had to modify the design, and I'll I'll provide the link um, to the uh, STL model in case you guys want to print it, and uh, I'll compare. It this this uh, design of mine to, to the other ones that are available. Also I was going to point out that um, I didn't do anything to the right um, extr ex um, extruder and uh, I only changed the left one, that's the one, the one that has a spring in it because the right one was, was ex ex extruding just fine but the left one was slipping because of the manufacturing it was slightly off center, it had, um, the extruder was slightly off center so that's why the uh, we the spring holds the guider wheel to the filament to to um, make the little servo motor grab it better. And um, I want to cover my settings. So um, feed rate 38, travel rate 50, and um, temperature 220. And I'm using PLA. I believe that PLA plastic is tougher than ABS plastic. And um, it's actually here I'm gonna show some of the 3D prints as you can see as you can see oops, as you can see it's very tough there's no way I can break it uh, even if I use two hands there's no way there's just no way anyway so it's it, P PLA is actually very strong uh, contrary to what a lot of people will tell you in this video I looked at different uh, extruder upgrades uh, that are available for the Replicator 2 and this here is um, you know an upgrade that somebody designed I believe um, this here is a very popular model and uh, I actually like this one myself it comes in three different um, pieces so, so okay so here we have one piece and then we have two and then we have three pieces. And um, I actually like this one quite a bit, and uh, I based my design on, on this one. But uh, if, if you have um, a CTC style 3D printer, 
this model won't really work for your um, machine. It will fit in there, but um, this arm is, is very thick, as you can see over here. And um, the, the CTC printer has a plywood at the top of it, and uh, the thickness will actually prevent the um, uh, this extruder from uh, from being used because the the spring will only open so far and then um, it gets jammed right here by the ply by the plywood at the top. So um, also you can only use this flat wheel. See this flat wheel is the only thing that fits in there. Let's see if you can see. So if if you have a, a different wheel, like let's say this. Um, Let's say you want to use this V V shaped wheel, like you have here. As you can see, it's uh, the space doesn't allow you to use anything uh, anything bigger. So, so if you're trying if you're trying to use this, um, it's not, just not gonna fit in there. So. Um, Anyway, so keeping all this in mind, I decided to design my own extruder, and this is it basically. So it comes in, instead of three pieces, it only has two pieces in there. And um, so I made it really narrow, right over here, right over here in the, neck, in the arm. So that allows you, if you have a, a, um, a, a plywood piece at the top, um, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect your, um, extruder because it, it still has a lot of room to play and I also made it really narrow on the edge over here because uh, CTC t style or um, other replicator 2 clone uh, printers will have a bolt right here and um, this wider area here will uh, end up pressing um, in your 3D printer and, and it makes the whole assembly push uh, to the left and um, also in my design, I, uh, I made it um, give, gave this a wide enough area so you can use either a flat, um, you know, uh, a piece or or you can use a, a, a V-shaped shaped one. And the the one that you would use depends on uh, which extruder head you have. If you have a flat extruder head, then you want to use a V-shaped one. 